the, he did not according to me also one he did not get a fair defense he was not in a matter of that kind you know initially when the trial began there was so much of public outrage over the incident that uh, as it always happens we've seen it in the recent past no lawyer was ready to appear because those lawyers who appeared were termed as an anti-national pro-terrorist so therefore no lawyer was ready to appear why are we talking of trial even at the high court level people who some people who agreed to appear their offices were attacked so you know that is the kind of mindset and society we have people they have jail petitions also in high court and supreme yeah. court it doesn't mean that they've had a fair trial he should get a, a proper lawyer of his choice and he has always even in the high court the ground was taken and even in the supreme court the ground was taken that he has not had a fair trial if you do not have a fair trial you may go to the high court you may go to the supreme court but uh, your case has not been put across properly because at the high court and the supreme court you are confined to what is available from the trial court record give me a policeman for 3 days let me torture him he will confess to any crime so you believe he was he was he was in custody he was made to and in fact the court supreme court in we are talking so much about the supreme court judgment supreme court judgment has not accepted that confessional statement Of course, I'm not even talking of better. They could have been more human about it. If supposing, number one, when she had filed a mercy petition, she was entitled to be informed that her mercy petition had been rejected. Once a mercy petition has been rejected, she had other recourses. She had recourse to the Supreme Court where a matter is already pending saying that if the mercy petition is kept uh, pending for a very long time, the life, uh, death sentence should be converted and commuted to a life sentence. She was entitled to take recourse. I am not saying that every rejection of a mercy petition is uh, justiciable, but she could have you know it is not you have denied her every opportunity and then most you know, appalling that you don't inform her on 8th 9th you're executing somebody you know where she stays you have the address you send a speed post in today's day and age exactly. isn't that it's shameful we are like a banana republic what are we talking forget the law are we are we a bunch of bloodthirsty human beings or are we general human beings civilized society where you know a family at least should get an opportunity a proper opportunity and all international covenants provide for it a family should have an opportunity to spend a little time with the person who is going to be executed that son who has not seen his father for so many years should have had time to at least have one last glimpse of him he has a wife he has a brother he has a father he has family i mean aren't we a human so human society we talk 21st are we 21st century only for other things otherwise we are barbaric nation blood for blood eye for eye are we to follow that The less talked of him, the better. Sushil Kumar Shinde, we, uh, you heard what Justice Verma had to say. The uh, committee is set up and he doesn't have the uh, decency to talk to the members of the committee. What is Sushil Kumar? Sushil Kumar Shinde, the less talked of him, the better. What did he say? He's saying, we have informed him on the 8th. Isn't he ashamed to even say that? Ninth morning, you are hanging a man at 8 o'clock. You expect the family to get information. And 9th, I think was a Sunday. Ninth was a Saturday. Exactly. Now, and even the uh, post office says that they received it on the ninth, mm -hmm. on tenth. Sent on eighth, they received on the tenth. It was a Sunday, so even if they received it on the ninth, it was too late. I mean, I don't understand. And you are sending. You know how what the weather conditions in Srinagar are. There are, you know, sometimes the roads are cut off. Sometimes you don't have you don't have SMS service there. You don't have. 
let's be human what are we talking i don't understand what heavens would have fallen if they had just delayed it by a few days at least the family should have been informed they should have information that the family has been informed and notified So you can imagine how powerful and how strong this government is. It fears one person's execution so much that there will be, you know, there'll be fire. There will be the country will be, you know, they have uh, can they have no concept of law and order? They have no, and they only basically they just wanted one up on BJP. BJP at the drop of a hat when anything happens raises its hand and scre is screaming for was screaming for the blood of Afzal. I hope they are happy and they are satisfied and content. But unfortunately, now the issue is gone. I don't know what they'll scream now. Because any time there was anything, BJP from the rooftop would scream, this is a weak government. So they wanted to show their strength to their, to their opponent, that is the BJP. Let's see how strong we are. You can't uh, contain the law and order, so you will, this thing, do away with human rights. You will do away with all humanity, uh, humane, this thing. And I don't understand why the international community is not getting up and saying something. Kassab was an open and shut case. And number two, Kassab was not an Indian citizen. So even if you had informed, the, but believe me, they have, they themselves say that they had informed the, um, uh, this thing, High Commission. And they have informed their High Commission in uh, Pakistan. And so therefore, they would have informed them in advance. Then they were worried about the international repercussions. How do you connect Afzal to that telephone? You can put any telephone to anybody, no? Mm, true. And telephone and uh, there was, we had, and there was very serious argument on the tampering of those telephone records. There was serious arguments on the tampering of the telephone records and the telephone, that they had everything. They also had something on Professor Gilani. They also had on Shaukat Guru. They also had on that lady. They had everything. Then how? When you want to build, uh, you know how special cell functions and how open and shut case against anybody they can. They can't make out, they made out a case against that Iftikar Gilani also. Mm -hmm. They made out a case against several other terrorists who have fortunately been released, uh, I mean acquitted by the high courts and lower courts. Iftikar Gilani also, they have also made out a case of sedition against Binayak Sen. Mm -hmm. Because they found that little strip of paper in his house. Uh, it is, you know, when they want to make out you, it's so simple. For the state authorities and the agencies, investigating agencies to make out a case. What does it take to plant papers and documents? What about the collective conscience of the six in the 1984 riots? Why aren't we doing something about that? Why isn't anybody being punished for that? Why aren't those political people who are involved there getting punished? Why are they so concerned about collective conscience only now? What about the collective conscience of people where 3006 were massacred in the Delhi? What about collective conscience there? What about collective conscience of the Muslims of Gujarat? Why is collective conscience important only in this case? They have not talked of the aggravating and mitigating circumstances which is required by them under the law.